I'm Guy Kramer, President and CEO of Hyperstealth Biotechnology Corporation, and in 2010 I figured out invisibility. Quantum Stealth is a patent-pending light-bending material that works by bending the light so that only the background is visible and a target, such as a person, is removed from view when behind this material. Here I'm demonstrating version 1 of the material on a riot shield. This allows the target to remain hidden while moving or stationary. The material also makes aiming at the person's critical points, such as the head and chest, much more difficult. In the initial part of this video, my torso is somewhat visible, but as I hold the material farther out to create a greater standoff distance, the torso is nearly invisible and with a little more distance it would be completely removed. Newer versions allow the target to get closer to the material. What is broadband invisibility? It's the ability to make a target invisible not only within the visible spectrum, but also the near and medium ultraviolet, near infrared, shortwave infrared, and thermal spectrums. I wanted to find a way to hide a tank from aircraft, drones, or satellites overhead while it was still moving. The simple solution was to place one piece of the material on top of the tank with an appropriate standoff distance to allow room for the light to bend. Notice you cannot see the shadow of the tank's large gun on the ground. There are 11 halogen lights in the room, so there are numerous shadows of the material, but not the tank. If there was only one light source like the sun, the shadow the material creates is minimal. Using a shiny white helmet on a black background and a shiny black helmet on a light colored background shows how well this material bends the light around the target. This is version 2 large scale testing. I've aligned the material so the neutral zone is not in the center of the material. This creates dead spots on the two sides of the material to hide targets. Also notice how my image is moving in the same direction when I'm close to the material, but is moving in the opposite direction when I'm farther away. The point at which this switch happens is the flip point, and at that point, even if you did see an indication of the target, it is so distorted that you would probably not be able to identify what the target was. In the next test, I've shifted the neutral zone to the center of the material. This creates a dead zone in the middle of the material in which to hide a target. This is version 2, and as you can see, it's much better than version 1 at hiding objects behind it, as it provides a detailed background, 
the target can get much closer to the material before being detectable and it's removing both the horizontal and vertical components of the target. I could edit these videos to make this much more impressive than it actually is, as there's a drawback to the cylinder or tightly curved approach in that it only hides the target at specific viewing angles and enlarges the target at equidistant or equal distance viewing angles. If you're a fan of science fiction, you've probably heard the term phase shift. This is where an object such as a spacecraft in phase can be seen and out of phase becomes cloaked or invisible to anyone outside the craft. The fictional part of this is that until now, we didn't actually have that ability. The term phase shift is also used in physics and typically refers to small scale or quantum physics. A phase shift occurs when two identical light waves travel to the same point, but they travel different distances to reach that point. If the light wave started out in phase, they will be out of phase at the destination. If the crest of one wave lines up with the trough of the other, in other words their waves are completely opposite to each other, then they cancel both waves out. This is known as destructive interference. While the term phase shifting seems appropriate for this effect, scientifically that's not what's occurring here. The laser is demonstrating what's happening to the light rays through the double-sided lens. When the target is out of phase, the laser is splitting into two parts, with each laser refracting at 40 degrees, meaning that what you're seeing is the background image 40 degrees to the left and the background image 40 degrees to the right converging to create a neutral zone and the target is invisible. When the laser is within the in-phase section, the two lasers now converge onto the target but magnifying the target size to the viewer. If we know what specific direction the viewer will be at, such as hiding a police officer at the side of the road from oncoming traffic, as the police use their radar or lasers to determine oncoming vehicle speed, as the vehicles get closer past the speed detection area, the angle changes and they see a magnified view of the police officer, allowing for the safety the police require so no vehicle accidentally hits them. Then this could be a reasonable solution to removing the target from view. Within the patent, I've allowed for the manufacture of this material so the majority only shows the out-of-phase sections, and the in-phase sections would be so minimal that the target would be unidentifiable. We could manufacture the material entirely in the out-of-phase viewing angle, but this would reduce the overall detail we currently have with version 2.